Hello friends, in the last three videos, we have solved first nine examples from exercise 5.3. Now we are starting example number 10. So try to understand what are the given conditions here. Here it is given to us that uh, a vector has direction angle 45 degree and 60 degree. Find the third direction angle. So what is the meaning of direction angle? These are the angle made by a vector with positive direction of x, y and z axis. Generally, we are denoting this angle by alpha, beta and gamma. So, two direction angles are given to us and question is to find out third direction angle. So, let us denote this angle by alpha, beta and gamma. So, here I am denoting first angle. Let alpha will be equals to 45 degree. Beta is equals to 60 degree. And gamma be the direction angle. of vector. Now we, we can observe that here two angles are given to us and question is to find out this third direction angle. Already we have seen that these direction angles or if direction angles are known to us then their direction cosines means cos alpha cos beta cos gamma satisfies which condition that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1. Let us make the use of this condition here. We have one condition that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equals to 1. So now we are substituting the value of alpha and beta. Alpha is 45 and beta is what? 60. And simplifying this expression, we will try to find out our third direction angle means gamma. So here, what we will get? Cos square alpha. Alpha is how much? 45 degree plus cos square beta, beta is how much here, 60 degree, plus cos square gamma, keep it as it is, is equals to 1 also as it is. What is the value of cos 45? 1 by root 2. Keep this square as it is. Cos square, cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2, keep square as it is. Cos square gamma is equals to 1. So therefore, what is square of 1 by root 2? 1 by 2. Square of 1 by 2 is 1 by 4. Keep this cos square gamma as it is, cos square gamma is equals to 1. So let us try to find out addition of these two numbers. So here if we are multiplying to numerator and denominator by 2, so that denominator becomes what? Equal. So what we will get in the numerator 2? 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 upon 4. So will be the addition of these two numbers plus cos square gamma is equals to 1, keep it as it is. So this implies that cos square gamma is equals to 1 plus 1 by plus 3 by 4 on this side will become minus 3 by 4 which implies that cos square gamma is equals to 1 minus 3 by 4, 4 minus 3 will be equals to what? 1 by 4. So their difference will be equals to 1 by 4. Just simply we have taken cross multiplication here. So this implies that if we are taking square root on both sides, so cos gamma is equal to what? Plus or minus 1 by 2. Just on this side, if we are taking square root, square will get eliminated and square root of 1 by 4 is plus or minus 1 by 2. So this implies that if we are considering first value of cos gamma, that is plus 1 by 2, we know that value of cos is 1 by 2 if this angle is equal to 60 degree. Means we can say that gamma is equal to 60. 60 can be written as what? Pi by 3. Or if we are considering gamma is equal to cos gamma is equal to minus 1 by 2. So we know that cos is negative here value is negative and one of the value negative value lies in second quadrant. So minus 1 by 2 is the value of what cos 120 degree and 120 degree can be written as what 2 pi by 3. So in this way we have got two values of gamma here which is nothing but what third direction angle. So, in this way, we have got our two required values. Now, observe the next example, example number 11. In this 11th example, it is given to us that a line makes angle 90 degree, 135 degree and 45 degree with x, y and z axis. Using this, question is to find out direction cosines. Already we know that if a line makes angle alpha, beta and gamma with x, y and z axis then such angles are called as what? Direction angles. Means in short we can say that given three angles made with x, y and z axis are nothing but direction angles of a line. So let us denote this angle by alpha, beta and gamma. So here I am denoting first angle 
alpha is equals to 90 degree, beta is equals to 135 degree and gamma is equals to 45 degree. And these are nothing but three angles made with what x, y and z axis. Such angles are called as direction angles. So B the direction angles. Direction angles of line. Using this question is to find out direction cosines. Direction cosines means what? Cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma. If alpha, beta, gamma are the direction angles of a line, then direction cosines are cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma. So therefore, we can say that cos alpha is equals to cos beta is equals to and cos gamma is equals to. So cos alpha, replace alpha by its value 90 degrees is equals to cos beta. Beta we are replacing by its value 135 degrees is equals to cos uh, now gamma. Gamma we are replacing by its value 45 degrees is equals to. Now already we know that cos 90 degrees is equals to how much? 1. Cos 90 is 1. Cos 135. Cos 135 will be equals to uh, minus 1 by root 2. And cos 45, cos 45 will be equals to 1 by root 2. So once these values are substituted, uh, sorry, I think cos 90 is equal to 0. So cos 90 is how much? 0 here. Cos 90 is 0, cos 135 is minus 1 by root 2 and cos 45 is what? 1 by root 2. And what is cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma? Are nothing but what? Direction cosines. So therefore, we can say that direction cosines, therefore direction cosines of line are, what are the direction cosines? 0, uh, minus 1 by root 2 and plus 1 by root 2. Now if you want to check whether, now answer is known to us, question is just simply to find out what direction cosine. And we know that cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma are nothing but what? Direction cosines. So three numbers are known to us which are nothing but direction cosine. To check whether our answer is correct or not, check that the sum of square of these three numbers is equal to 1 or not. Because we know that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is 1. So what is sum of square of these three numbers? 0 square is 0. Square of this second number is 1 by 2. And square of third number is also 1 by 2. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 0 is equal to 1. And uh, hence we can say that our answer is correct here. Well, see in the example number 12, uh, it is given to us that if a line has direction ratios, means these three numbers are direction ratios of the line. Direction ratio generally we are denoting by what? A, B, C. Means this is A, this is B and this is, C. this is C. Using this condition, question is to find out what direction cosines of a line. And direction cosines we are denoting by what? L, M, N. So already we have seen one important reason that direction ratios A, B, C are given to us. Then direction cosines can be find out as plus or minus A upon under root A square plus B square plus C square. What is that formula? Again, let us revise that formula. That plus or minus A upon under root A square plus B square plus C square. B upon under root, under root same number and C upon under root. Isn't it? So this formula, under root means what is the root? One number in the root is what? A square plus B square plus C square. Means this formula is applicable to find out direction cosines. If direction ratios means A, B, C are given to us. So here first write down the direction ratios of the line. So direction ratios in short can be written as DRS. So direction ratios of line are what are the direction ratios of line 4, minus 12, 18? So that is, these are, these are what direction ratios. So we are able to convert it into simplest form also. What is the common factor of these three numbers? Uh, just simply we can observe that all the three numbers are divisible by 2. So if we are dividing by 2, so here we will get 2, here we will get minus 6, here we will get 9. Why we are able to simplify it? Because these are nothing but what? Ratios. Ratios, if we are in, in case of ratio, we are able to cancel the common factor. So denote it by ABC. Let us denote it by ABC. I am denoting it say by ABC. Now to find out, once the value of ABC, ABC, these direction ratios are already given to us. Now we are trying to find out direction cosines. 
to find out the direction cosines a b c is required and again value of under root a square plus b square plus c square is also required so we are finding value of under root a square plus b square plus c square which is equal to under root uh, so here we will get 2 square plus minus 3 square sorry minus 6 square plus 9 square so let us simplify it what is square of 2 4 square of uh, minus 6 is 36 and square of uh, 9 is 81 so will be equals to let us see what addition we are getting here 4 plus 36 is 40, 46, 40 plus 81 is 121 so which is equal to 11 so its value will be equals to square square root of 121 is 11 so value of under root is also known to us means under root a square plus b square plus c square so therefore direction cosines of line r direction cosines in short can be denoted by what dcs and question is to find out direction cosines applying this formula so either we are able to consider here plus or we are able to consider what minus that is our choice just better way if we are not writing here anything means we are considering plus so a upon under root what is the value of a 2 2 upon under root what is the value of this under root its value is already known to us 11 so here we will get 2 upon 11 then second term is what b upon under root what is the value of b here minus 6 and under root value of under root is 11 so value of under root a square plus b square plus c square is already known to us and last term is what c upon under root where c is equal to 9 9 upon under root value of under root is 11 so this is nothing but a upon under root b upon under root c upon under root means applying this formula we have got the value of direction cosines of a line so hope the question is clear if direction ratios are given to us then how to find out direction cosines of a line so now only last two examples in this exercise are remaining we will discuss uh, these two examples in the next video hope all of you are going through all the example uh, this chapter is very important vector because all the results of vectors uh, we are using in what lines and planes lines uh, and planes is related with what vectors so and especially the results of what direction angles direction ratios and direction cosines this result we have in maximum example we have to utilize the results of direction angle direction ratios and direction cosines in lines and planes well in the next video we will uh, we will solve last two examples from exercise 5.3.